if a problem happens, it's not just that the problem happened. That's fine. Problems happen. How are you going to solve it and then go above and beyond to fix it for them? That matters. Hi, my name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, or also a non-traditional entrepreneur. Today, we're going to talk about mistakes and how mistakes actually can be your friend and actually can get you more connected to your audience. It's so important. We're all going to make mistakes. <laughs> I make a mistake every single day you see my face. Whew. But how you navigate that mistake could actually be not only a lesson for you, but a way to endear yourself and get closer to the community you're trying to build. If you like this type of content as far as with side hustlers, solopreneurs, making an impact with the resource that you have, remixing your career, as I talk about in my new book, Career Remix, be sure and subscribe. I'm here with the Bring Your Worst show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. And if you're liking it, be sure and like, be sure to subscribe, as I mentioned, and share with other folks because we can always get there better together. Mistakes are your friend. Mistakes are how we learn. If we're not making mistakes, then we're probably not doing enough. I actually learned this gem from Seth Godin. Mistakes aren't fatal unless you don't use them as an opportunity to connect. By connect, it means to raise the um, service that you have for the, your audience, build a better bond, with the tribe that you're creating. Take your excellence to the next level. And it's a good excuse to do so. There's three different ways why this matters. Number one, a big mistake can show how you can shine at customer service. We don't always think about customer service because we think of like, you know, we're at a fast food joint. Customer service is everything. Customer service, for instance, for me is when I'm doing an article, I'm doing customer service for the editor that hired me to do the article. Customer service is when you hire me as a coach at DamonBrown.net and we do some one-on-one -on -one stuff and then something goes wrong, I'm doing customer service for you. It's even customer service for me to express the opportunities for us to work together from my books to other things and how I can onboard you, as they say, through DamonBrown.net. That whole experience on my website at DamonBrown.net, that's also customer service. But if there ends up being something that goes wrong or a mistake, then it's an opportunity for you to be endeared with the people you're trying to serve. I'll give you a quick example. I'm a big fan of jukeboxprint.com. I don't get any affiliation from them. I just think they're great. They're based over, I believe in Vancouver. I've been getting my business cards and other things from them for a while. If you've ordered my books through damonbrown.net, then you've gotten some of the stickers, like the Bring Your Worst sticker. I just sold out of them, but the Bring Your Worst sticker and other, other stuff that comes from them. I remember I was speaking at a major conference and they are doing my, my latest business cards. And there ended up being something going on with one of the major carriers like FedEx or something. Maybe it was the international delivery because again, they're based in Vancouver and it was going to be late. Like so late that it wouldn't get to my office in time so I could take them with me. So I'd be going to this conference without any business cards. I emailed them because they're electronic. I emailed them and I was like, listen, where's my stuff? They're like, we're so sorry. They ended up giving me my money back and I believe they also threw in some stickers or some type of bonus stuff, like, thank you. I figured it out. I found out some old business cards also from them. And then when I got back, I had my money refunded and I had my business card and I believe some bonus stuff as well. That's an opportunity to shine. They could have said, hey, tough luck, Damon. I'm sorry to hear that. We did the best we could. It's actually the fall of the FedEx or UPS or whatever. There's some international embargo happening. We can't get it to you. Sorry, there's nothing we can do about that. Instead, they stepped up and said, you know what, we'll pay for, let's say it's $40, we'll take care of the credit, we'll give you a credit for that, or we'll give you your money back for that, and we'll throw in this bonus, and we'll make sure that you get your cards by the time you get home from your traveling. That's an opportunity to shine. If that problem didn't happen in the first place, then I wouldn't be speaking their praises now. I love them already, but now I'm really speaking their praises. So it's a whole different level. So if a problem happens, it's not just that the problem happened, that's fine. Problems happen. How are you going to solve it and then go above and beyond to fix it for them? That matters. Number two, when a mistake happens, you're able to show your intention. This matters because for a lot of the work that I do and maybe the work that you do, you're paying up front. When you come to DameBrown.net and you say, I want to coach with you for three sessions or six sessions, which is the current setup, you're paying everything up front. So I already have your money. Could be the same case for you, where you're doing a certain amount of work and you say, yep, 
buy my book, buy my product, buy my service, whatever. And they're like, cool. And they write you a check. If you're old school, if you're like me, then they'll go to your website or they'll swipe or whatever. And then you already have their money. There's been so many instances, and I think you can probably relate to this, where I paid someone money and then suddenly they disappear. Not that they robbed me, but they're not anywhere as attentive or as available as they were before. When a mistake happens and you have their money, the only reason why you're taking care of them is because that's your intention, to take care of them. Otherwise, if the main intention was money and the mistake was made, you'd be like, whatever, we'll figure it out. And you'd be moving on to the next customer. And that actually has a subtext too, where if you're interested in having longevity, if you're interested in the long game, as Dory Clark would say, then, or the long long game as far as with Simon Sinek as well. So many people talk about the long game. Shout out to Dory and to Simon Sinek, both in the same vein. Then you are going to have customers that are going to come back. If you're interested in the short term, the short gains, then customer service doesn't matter. You'd be like, you know what? I already got your money. How you react when a mistake is made or when the issue comes up to the people that have already paid you, you might feel as though that you don't owe them anything. If that's your intention, God speak to you, but you're not going to have a long career. Lastly, number three, two, I'm losing count. Number three, <laughs> number three, you have an opportunity to go above and beyond. As I talked about the example with jukeboxprint.com, as with the example with, with, with um, other instances, where you're able to go well beyond what they asked for. There's, there's some hidden gems in here. The first thing, as I talked about, is that you're able to show your intention. You're like, wow, you know, Damon's really showing up. Wow, you're really showing up. Thank you so much because you went above and beyond what you had to do. But then the, the subtext of this, and maybe even more important, not even a subtext, is that you're able to prove why the money they spent with you, why the time they spent with you, any resource they spent with you is worth it. If someone comes through and says, okay, this tire shop wants five times as much money as this tire shop, I'm going to trust them because they seem to have a good brand. I'm going to pay this. And then something happens with the tire. This other tire shop that does so well, that, does, that charges five times as much, maybe they rise to the occasion. Maybe they have a money back guarantee. Maybe they'll meet you wherever you're at within a hundred mile radius to take care of your tire for the lifetime of the tire. Then you understand when your money goes. You could have went with the cheapy one, which I've been there many times. I'm guessing you have too, where you're like, the Spirit Airlines <laughs> of whatever brand you're going after. You're like, yes, it's cheap. I can do this. I can get this tire for $5. A $5 tower, tire, that's a steal. It's way cheaper than the expensive one. And then you realize that the tire is a little bit used. And, you know, they end up charging you for labor and for, I don't know, for the, the waste removal of the old tire and for the wrench that they have to use and for the rent and all these things. And suddenly this becomes more expensive than this. Not to mention the customer service that you're lacking. So when you make a mistake, when a problem arises, even when the problem isn't even your issue, as the case again with Jukebox Print, and it was a shipping problem, it wasn't their thing, you have the opportunity to shine. And if, you're pay if you have them paying a premium, like my coaching isn't cheap, my books aren't cheap, but the availability that you have of me is way higher than the cheaper coaches, the cheaper books that you have out there. That in itself proves itself when there is an error. If you want more insight, be sure and check out the more of the YouTube channel. One particular playlist that might work well and be a nice um, pairing, if I get my sommelier on, a nice pairing to this would be uh, smart creative routines and habits. Because what you wanna do is get into the routine, get in the habit of giving more. And as you give more, you can actually charge more. And as you charge more, you can give more. As one person said, it's better to charge more and give more than to charge less and take away something. Until next time, remember to bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.